now with why supporters wanted to show their support in person despite COVID concerns. Brian, Lauren, several hundred people it looks like attending this rally this afternoon, showing support for President Trump. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and conservative activist Charlie Kirk, the headline speakers. Supporters told me they wanted to show up because it was important for them to protect their freedoms, which they said started to slip away during the pandemic. <laughs> Supporters at this afternoon's rally donning MAGA hats and flags for President Trump's re-election, but only a few face masks in sight. I think there's a lot at stake in this election, and I think it's definitely one of the most important we've seen so far. This is the second rally for President Trump this week at Cook's Garage, with another scheduled Friday. Trump fans say this election will be a turning point for the issues that matter most to them. It's been crazy to see how quickly our freedom can go away with things as simple as having to stay home. We suppress it as much as we can because it's a very deadly disease, but at the same time, we still have to work and we still have to we still have to, you know, provide for our families. Lubbock's Democratic Party responding to these rallies with a statement saying in part Democratic Party members in our city, state, and throughout the country are 100% for free speech and the freedom to assemble to support a candidate or party of choice. We are dealing with a pandemic that has taken the lives of over 220,000 Americans, and in recent weeks, the spread of COVID has grown exponentially. At the end of the day, supporters encouraging everyone to go vote for what they believe in. I think it's more important than ever for people to realize what your values are and what you stand for, um, and that you may not agree with every policy that your politicians have, but if it's closely aligned to what you firmly believe in, I think it's important that you get out and vote for those things. Last Sunday, Cook's Garage hosted a Trump train, the second one Lubbock has seen this election season. And tomorrow, Cook's Garage is also hosting a meet and greet with the McCloskey couple.